Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Hey ladies and gents, this is Scorpion here right now. It does not look good for today. It is pouring rain, so not good. Right now it's 7.21 in the morning. Yeah, the rain started yesterday afternoon. So, yeah, episode 3 was starting to go good, but... Nah. Something else went wrong, and the axles fell apart. So that's... Even the bearings fell apart as well so that's two more things I need to replace and luckily my dad brought the parts so that's no problem at all so good they will be here next week on Wednesday so and I have to pause the episodes because it's raining can't work in the cold so this is such a fucking bugger I was going so well yesterday yeah, so trying to pull the engine out till when dad took the axles out the whole axle fell into three pieces and that's why I have the warp in the left side while the axles tore apart and I was driving really shaky and stuff it just <sighs> what a fucking bugger <sighs> fuck I was looking forward to pull the engine out yesterday, but <sighs> more disappointments of my car. But it's not my car's fault; well, it's the original um, owners that had the car before me. Even the service book says it's serviced. How it's serviced if it's not been touched? It has not been touched at all. My dad's a, a professional mechanic. He knows how to fix cars from the inside out. And what he tells me, the car has not been touched or serviced for God, knew, uh, God knows how long. So that car has not been touched for that many years. It's not funny. So... That's got to be a problem. So, when it's sunny, I'm going to pull the engine out, but uh, I had to buy new axles and new bearings yesterday afternoon, and they will be here next Wednesday. So, when it stops raining, I'm going to take the engine out, and get that fixed and cleaned up put the engine in and then when the axles arrive whack them in put new oil in change the oil filter because my dad reckons that oil filter did not even be changed at all it's all, all original kind of parts so yeah, this engine's going to be a whole new look after it's finished, so... <sighs> fucking hell. I was going so well going to take the engine out yesterday and the axles fell apart. That's 
another couple pieces to reply, so... Fuck. Not good at all. Yes, yeah, so I was starting to cry. I was starting to cry at Archery because my car fell apart a bit, a little bit more. And yeah, I could not handle the pain because my car. Oh my freaking god! <sighs> Fucking hell! Not good. So right now, um, I'm going to let my boys have some more sleep. But right now it's 7.27 in the morning. And when it's 8 o'clock, I'll turn on the lights for my boys. But right now, I turned on the heat mat last night. And it's still on. And yeah, it's just... It's crazy cold here. Um, one of my dad's ideas is get a new generator because the old one shit itself to run the workshop. We gotta we gotta work so hard so we, we I can get my family a dream home what they wanted. So yeah. But right now, it's just slightly sprinkling there, so that's not bad. <sighs> Fuck. So right now, I can't do anything to my car till it stops raining. So, episode three, just only take the axles out and undo the mounts underneath and that's it I was so close getting the six bolts on top to undo the whole engine so the whole engine comes out yesterday but now something else needs to pop up and get it wrong and that was the axles and the bearings so this car when it's finished it's got to be all brand new so the axles came out, fell to pieces. Not good. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not not feeling happy now. So yeah, um, but right now um, I'm gonna let my boys sleep. I'm gonna get my breakfast. And yeah, um, let's play a little bit of Far Cry and then um, get my sketchbook out so I can sketch my um, lesson enclosures properly. Because look at the magnifying glass, it, it folds out to boom, it's one of the professional ones anyway and that's a really good one too my friend Martin actually gave me that on the last autumn um, night shooting he gave it to me as a gift and that was pretty kind of him to give me that no I needed that anyway Oh well. So right now I'm gonna let my boys sleep a little bit longer. Shave his heads up a little bit. But I'll let him sleep a little bit longer. So I'll see you guys about about nine, eight thirty, eight thirty, nine o'clock. So I'll see you guys on night time. Alright ladies gents, um right now it's still on the boys. Um, lamp. 
I gotta clean up all these cans or we'll use them as target practice for my um, gel blaster BB gun. Yeah, it's a BB gun. It, it doesn't shoot softly, it shoots hard. So, yeah. Hey, baby boys. How about my two handsome fellas? How are you two boys going, hey? Yeah, Dad's here. Dad's here. Lie back down, uh, lie back down, Stumpy. It's a moon. It's cold. Hey, Shabby. How you doing, hey? How you doing? <laughs> Both of them is doing good. Now, right now, it's still raining. I can't do anything at, at the moment. Because, look at the... It's still raining for now. What the... F oh, it's sprinkling. Can only see with the camera, but I can see with my own eyes. So it's just sprinkling, so I can't do anything with the mirror today. So, yeah. But right now, I got the sketchbook out. Gotta get the sharpener, rubber, ruler, and the lead pencil. So I can start sketching my closures for the future homes for my boys. Even for the future reptiles I want to get. So, yeah. Hey, Chevy! Ah, it's Stumpy! Hey! Hey, baby boy! Hey! How are you doing? Stay warm, little ones. Stay warm. Stay in the warm, baby boys. The stumpy actually got up. Yeah, that's okay. He's always getting up really fast. So, yeah. That's how many balloons I popped at archery. That's quite good because the new bow is getting used to me now. So right now let's um, get sketching and get these enclosure blueprints. I already got one enclosure blueprint for, my, for Stumpy. I'm not going to put Chevy in here because he's a little big man. He's still small but yeah. So right now... Right now I gotta open this up. Oh. <laughs> a book in the book. Okay. Oh yeah. Paper. Wait, where the little paper came from? Okay, don't need that. Just need the big pieces. Uh, I gotta get a couple out. No, this is one of the craft books. Alright, that's two pieces of paper. So, put that back. Close that. Put that like that's a boom done. So right now I've got two blueprint uh I gotta create two enclosure blueprints so I need to draw it very good so the other sides yeah, the other side's more smoother than this side. Alright. So right now, um, I need to measure it out. Alright. I'm guessing... 
eight four by eight four uh, eight six uh, eight 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 all right yeah eight feet times four so we go Yeah, the fucking measure it right this instant. Alright. So, one to eight. Do it again with this. Man. Yeah, when these enclosures gonna get built for my boys, I'm gonna be absolutely freaking happy. Eight foot by eight foot. Alright, uh, 8 by 8 by 8 by 8. So, all 8 forts. So, it's like my bedroom kind of size. So, right now, um, I want to build something with a rack class in a system, like. So I got I can actually put my reptiles in like what how many Fifteen and a half. So like that. So I can actually measure out how much I need to make in each enclosure so about one to eight and one to eight. So I got three sets of enclosures. So right now, I'm going to put some borders up to make it more good. All right. That's three times eight meters, uh, eight feet. So, if I build any enclosures like that, I can have Gwen's, bear dragons, frill neck dragons, frill neck lizards. What? My country can say, not frilled neck dragons, because, well, you can actually say it. Alright, um, I need to rub that bit out. 
is nothing's going to live in there because it's too skinny. So, yeah. Is this the open wrapper now or not? No, it's not. So, shit. Okay. Open rubber. There we go. So, with my enclosures, I gotta build it precise, good measures. So, oh, I need to rub. This part out. But I'm only gonna build one at a time to fit the reptiles likings so that might be easier now that's the open rub uh, rubber so that's good now in the in each enclosure it's not gonna be like not this tall like the room is but to about very up to eight inches high, so eight inches high. So I need to measure to eight to one. Okay, yeah, this got to be a little bit more tricky. Right. To one. Okay. So, in each enclosure, it's got to have a border be between them, so no other reptile fights any other reptile so it's gotta be a little bit more easier to let people know so right now uh, put on eight to one There. So right now I got about three enclosures with eight feet high about yeah. So eight feet, eight feet um long or more than that. I'm only six three. I'm only six foot three and a half. So that's eight foot. That's my correct. Yeah, that's correct. Is these walls are eight feet long? So yeah, no, that's okay. So right now, um, I measured this quite nicely. I plan these things out. Alright. That's not even on the line. There we go. Straight. Down. So now I got three enclosures eight by four times. So I got 
four being enclosures. This, this is for the future, so I need to put all my reptiles in. So in the front, that's the front, that's the back. So put on the one. But five because that's the back. Oh by eight. Yeah, by eight. And corner to corner. So now I got a 3D kind of look on my enclosures. So right now I need to plan this. So by the length of that, eight times oh wait. I need to calculate this, so I got my phone with me. Eight times uh, eight. I don't know who was that, but yeah. All right, calculate. So eight times three. So I need twenty-four foot. So. Eight times three equals twenty-four foot. So the size of a shipping container. So the twenty-four foot container will do to do my frame. So if I cut each wall out and leave the frame angles and sides, just when I cut the tin out, I can actually Put wire mesh in timber. Yeah, that seems freaking easy. So, by the door, so I'm not that tall on the door anyway. I'm six foot three and a half. That door is about eight and a half foot tall. It's not, it's not a little door, what my bedroom is, it's mostly a tall kind of door for 8 foot people, so that's <laughs> far out. So I need to put about, I don't know, 4 foot, so 4 foot door. No, I don't I don't need to write in the calculator. That's ridiculous. So about if I put door right here that will be This is not gonna be easy. So if I put a door right there, on each one, I don't need the ruler to draw the doors. So if I make metal frame doors, for each one, I can actually cover this up with like wood, like mesh, and
Yeah, hey, mesh and wood. Oh, that's a little bit fucking crooked. No, that's not good. So, hmm. About like that. So if I put the mesh up on uh, up top of the door and like metal playing down here, like it, I like the zoos have. You know, like metal playing down here where you have a a border uh, a border right here so you can get inside the door and stuff. I think that will be good, I think. So, when you get in, reptiles can't come out, so, I think I need to do, like, that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I draw it wrong. No, that seems cool. All right. So when you get in, reptiles can't come out. So yeah, that's pretty good so far because if I do it like that. I can actually open up the, yeah, if I open up the door from outwards, reptiles can't run through and escape, so, yeah, that will be absolutely great. So put metal plating across here to stop them from climbing. I might put on each side of the enclosure. And then reptiles can't climb onto the mesh and just mess up it, I think. So when it's winter, um, shit, I forgot to put the all up so about like that oh cool I'm just doing that So if I get a shipping container, I can actually make my own reptile enclosures, but yeah, it's going to be absolutely great. Oh, well, there is going to be another way, is the enclosures. Yeah, that's got to be perfect. Because if I put a metal roof 
on top so the rain doesn't get in. Yeah, I might put a roof on there. Sort of like, let me say, let me go over the whole thing so I got my reptiles covered so they don't get drowned so yeah that's got to be a good idea if I put a roof on top of the shipping container like, yeah, that's got to be a good, a good idea because if I put a roof on top of the shipping container and then all the reptiles have shelter. Now, the mesh will be, uh, I gotta do it roughly anyway. It's gotta be like, that it's gotta be a little bit rough but So if I make the enclosures for the bearded dragons, it will be absolutely good. A whole bee enclosure. But yeah, let's see what happens if I don't get enough work. I'm going to make smaller enclosures. So that's got to be good because. It'll yeah, make the reptiles happier, that is a good thing, because they'll have a hide box so they can sleep through the winter and they have a heat mat in there. So that'll be one excellent thing for the reptiles to to sleep for winter instead of getting cold but they have like a cut down tree that has no roots and the only thing that is there is the trunk with branches sticking out like that about that much out, out of the enclosure so they can have natural sunlight through the wire and they can actually yeah it's gotta be good but right now yeah I'm I'm still working on this anyway but I already got one of the enclosures Blueprints somewhere I put it, I don't know where I put it, but I'll find it. But yeah, it's only eight forty four in the morning, so that's good. So eight times three by eight times four. Now eight times four that's the walls and yeah. So, yeah, or I can actually put perspex along the whole walls and put a vent around the roof 
so that they can have natural air coming through and yeah, that's gotta be good. Yeah, so they don't get cold or anything like that. I think that that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, perspex. Um. Uh, container. Uh, uh, container frame. Um. Wells. Hide box. And branches. All right. So that's gonna be good. That's gonna be one dream home for my reptiles. But yeah, that's only the big enclosure. And the big enclosures I want to build. Uh, I want to have. Different kind of paired rep reptiles, so I can have breeding pairs, so I can breed and sell, or breed and release to the wild. So that's good. So the baby enclosures, if I got little ones, it's gonna be like a tank where Chevy and Charlie, uh, Chevy and the Chevy and Stumpy is in. That's why I'm gonna have. So I don't need that out. So I can put that back in the book and have the shipping the shipping container for the larger reptiles. So I can put this one back. Like so. And just work on it bit by bit so it's not a rush it's not it's not a rush job it's gonna take time but so I'm going oh that's a good idea oh let me get the pencil and shit off the book I'm gonna work out my archery building so I can do my archery at the dream home, so get these little pieces of paper off, get that piece out. So, this is gonna be my um, dream home, uh, well, work, well, not work, uh, like fine at home. So, uh, let me stretch my leg, uh, freaking cramping up all the time. Alright. Alright, shipping containers. Let me say about... Uh, let me say... I don't know, about 10 foot. Nope. Uh, A 20 foot container, so yeah, 20 foot container. That is by let me say eight.
because I, w I want to have my own fun system at home. So, two shipping containers about 20 foot together cut one hole out from each wall like right wall and left push them together yeah. all right um i need to draw this so another by eight So, this is what I'm talking about, because I want to do some archery and, yeah. So, if I put two 20-foot containers, no, i let me say eight foot up. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely tricky because both of them is together. So This is going to be tricky because both of them together, so I need to work this out. Alright, this one and that one's together, so... By one. So if I cut this wall out, it will be one main building what I want to do. So if I cut one wall out, seal the opening doors on both sides. Let's need a door as well. So if I seal them up, like no air come through them. So, so right now, it's gotta be absolutely great. Oh, my fucking right leg's cramping. Freaking hell. Ow. Jeez, Jesus. So, so yeah, um, So right now, you got a whole main building right here. So what I'm doing is making a um, building I can do my archery in. So cut that wall out and put flooring across here.
that's going to be main priority. So let me get rid of those. Um, they put a door right here, so it's got to be easy to access. Plus windows. And lighting, so it's not that dark in there. So it's gonna be taking time to build, but yeah. So right now you got a whole building. Oh, I forget the windows. Hmm. So you got a whole main building being built by shipping containers and then pushed together, cut one wall in each one, weld them shut, weld the doors shut on both sides, cut the door out, put a frame there, put a door right there you want to, well, where it goes. And the only thing you need to do is, oh, that's what I want to do, put roller doors right here so I can roll the targets in. So, yeah, I need to work this out. So, Yeah, that's what I want to do. You know, make something that is pretty good to know. And yeah, so that's free shipping containers. So yeah, that's got to be absolutely brilliant. But yeah. But I need them to install the roller door. If I cut the roller door out and put the roller door in, install it, and then you can close when I'm finished, that's going to be great. But the door right here, it's going to have a frame right across here. So. I actually can go in and shoot and do that. So, so 20 by 20, that's 40. That's 40 meters towards the door and the wall. So, fucking beautiful. So, I can have, if I put the door across here a little bit like here I can have a desk right here so I can actually work on stuff now I can have a roof to cover the rain but See what happens. So that is all I can do. So twenty plus twenty equals forty. So that is a forty meter kind of area where I can shoot. So that's what I'm after. So, two 20 foot containers, or something like that. Yeah, that would be absolutely great. Oh, something. I don't know. I'm gonna work on it for now, but. Yeah, so 
that is all to see. So, yeah, that's gonna be absolutely great for my archery. If I get two giant shipping containers, put them together, cut one wall in each one, put them together, weld them up, weld the top up, even the sides and the doors on both sides, cut a hole out, um, run electricity in there, I can actually make that as a whole building, so that's, that's brilliant. So right now, my boys are going to stay in the warm. I turned on the heat mat last night so they can stay warm because last night it dropped down temperature. Hey baby boy, you guys see my little one. You mean you're too shabby. I know. Good boy. Good boy. So, yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do with the um, stuff I wanna do anyway. Because the plan is to make this blueprint blueprint work. I need to work a lot, so that's gonna be absolutely challenging to the main standards. So that's gotta be a problem. So right now. Um, I got to uh, what I am watching, I'm going to watch Chase Nolan, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, back in Far Cry, uh, what I got to do, uh, Virgil Mingler, okay. Uh, no one's fishing shop and that needs to be freed. I'm only halfway done, so that's good. So there's two hunting roadkill spots, but I need to do it in this area. Alright, um, let me see. Yeah, I might do that. Caribou hunting spot. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, Elliot's place. Grill steak. <laughs> Grill steak. That's the place. Grilled steak. That's a good name for it. <laughs> Roadkill friggin' barbecue. Yuck. <laughs> So yeah, that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday next week. Um, Saturday and Sunday, that is after tomorrow, and Monday and Tuesday next week, and it will be sunny, so I'll be pulling apart the car, but right now it's still raining out there, so no luck of pulling the car apart, so that's gotta be a waiting game. So right now, I need a vehicle to get over there, so I need to... Oh, don't tell me I have to... Oh, bloody hell, man. I had to go over to this freaking airspace and get the car. Alright. So, yeah, when it's sunny, I'll pull the motor out. But when it's raining, nah. No go. Yesterday the axles fell apart, so that's the bad thing about it. <laughs> Not good. It, it made me sad yesterday. Um. All right. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. 
Right, I need to find the comic books and the vinyl crates. Alright, yeah, let's go for the Warthog. That is the 2013 Combat. That's a really funny spelling for combat. I mean, combat is C O M B A T, but the way it spells is K A U M B A T. And the O double T Ravage Custom. And I'm going to drive that. It's a pretty good vehicle. Look at this. The air vents are at the back. Fuck yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go hunting. I'm not gonna go on Fife's area today. Um, I'm gonna go hunting for roadkill. <laughs> Alright. But hopefully today the rain doesn't come back. I might pull the mud out today. Might, maybe, I'm not quite sure about it because the way the clouds are still hanging around, it's maybe a yes or maybe a no. So, yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm not going to take that chance because if it's going to rain while I'm started pulling the engine out, well, nah, no go. So, I'm going to say no for that. I'm going to leave it till it's going to be sunshine. So, no slip and slide or no accident so yeah next to the driveway is moss it, it's the slippery kind of shit you don't want to slip on and literally I don't want to have a broken leg oh yo roadkill alright They drift this way, how oh, far out. Mm. I wonder if I can do the jump. Oh sh what the hell I just hit? I just hit sank. I don't know why I just hit, but it was massive. It made the whole freaking car move. Oh shit, we got a hunter. Oh, he got pummeled! <laughs> oh shit, the lady. I need to save her before... Oh fuck. Alright, that's one. That's one. Yes. That's one road kill. Two more and I'm done on this one. That was easy, but it was... Oh my freaking god, I just moved it with the whole vehicle. <laughs> Man, what's... What? Oh. A grizzly? On the bison kind of territory? Well, he's quite pummeled to the... <laughs> he's pummeled to the ground. Literally, bison is the most toughest friggin' animal in America, but, yeah. Now, where is the bison, anyway? There's one. What the... F oh, come on! I'm trying... Wait, why the plane... Huh? <laughs> You have the plane killed it. Come on, I'm trying to get myself road kill right here. All right. This one's fighting a. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely fun. That's two. Good. 
One more. Land on him. And I can't get to the other door. Yes. What the hell? Alright, kill the Wolverine and that's the third road kill of the Bison. That's good. Don't need any more, so that's good. I don't know why the plane and the soldier just shot with a shotgun and shot with a plane. Yeah, that's the most funny shit. I just flipped my car. Ow! Shit! <laughs> I flipped my car. No. Oh, come on. I bugged my car. Oh, great. Switch seat. Come on, drive. Oh, not bugged. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Each time whenever I crash into the rock, the game shuts down on me, so... I think I broke it too many times, that's why. I think I broke the record of how many animals I killed. Put the sniper away. What I'm talking about, nothing tastier than honest meat. <laughs> what? Okay, that's the bison. Okay, that's the bison. Now, some nicer cuts. Okay. Uh, what's the next meat I need to get? I need to go back. Is that all? Oh well, okay, good. Well, ladies and gents, I am back. I'm sorry I was a little bit quiet, but I had to talk to my dad. Um, but I had to help him because there's a problem that is not solved. So right now, we are done the hunting. We haven't done that. Shit. And Jacob's... Oh, fuck. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. We have... Why? Oh, I'm on the wrong area. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm on the wrong spot, so uh, that's good. Um, Virgil's not dead, so I need to get over there, do his um, truck mission. So, right now, I got nothing to do. Um, can't do my car till it clears up and be blue sky again. And it's going to take me a whole afternoon to help my dad, so... It's good. If I help my dad for the whole afternoon, this work van's gonna work all, the, uh, all good. So, this is gonna be one. One big job I need to do is helping Dad to get the um, workshop I'm running. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna help out to so no more um, do this by myself. Um, I'm gonna help my I gotta help my whole family. Now, I am burping like crazy right now. Ugh. So, yeah, I am...
<laughs> so right now, I am literally going to take everything out. So right now, it's lock and load. Let's get all these trucks. Now, the hunting bit of Chad's hunting barbecue and cooking it for the white tails, it's done. So let's, all right, we got four out of five trucks. We just need boats now, so we gotta travel along the water. We gotta travel along the water. So, yeah. Hey, Dad. We're not gonna change the wiring. We need a bigger generator. The coffee machine runs at four and a half k. Are you serious? I'm serious. It needs to throw that. It's got the heavy wire, but that little phone generator won't run it. So, so we're going to get we've got a, you know six point eight. If we can find another one closer, it'd be good. Yeah. There's one in Sydney. Yeah. And there's the one down Walk Walk, but he's got an oil leak in it. And the one in Sydney hasn't. So I have to chase one up today, and we'll have to go and get it. Right. Two twenty. Yeah. Three hundred bucks. That'll be it. All right. I don't mind it. I'll, I'll we'll do that. I'll, that. No, I'll go for it. The wiring's fine. Can you put all that casing back up? I can do that. Just, I'll get, just, I'll get the, just leave the key on the table and I'll. Put, and then we'll just. That's what we're going to get. Bigger generator. So. Yeah, I don't mind to go for another city run with you, Dave. Yep, right up. Move it up. Put the key back out here. Put the okay. chases back on. Yep. Then we'll chase down a 6.8 or a 7. Alright? Right, you're dead. Uh, I'm, I'm on. Yeah. Right, I'm on it. I'm, I'm always here to help, and I'm always. Uh, I'm, I'm not like. Get that motor out of yours for today or tomorrow. Okay. How about we do this, do it on Saturday? Because Saturday is going to be sunshine. <laughs> What's today? Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes. Tomorrow's Friday. Saturday morning. Yes. Righto. I'll see you shortly. All right. So that's uh, solved. That's solved. That's good. The bigger generator we need, so that's gonna be a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> now the boats and two cars. Oh, oh, oh! Bitch! Bitch! One shot, one kill, bitch. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, be on flame for fuck sakes. Save seven hostages out of fourteen. That's not bad. I done I done six last time. Hmm, not bad. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go for another city run with my dad. So it's gonna be lock and load. That's good. So on Saturday I'll be pulling the engine out. Is yeah. Hey Dad. <laughs> all right. I'll put all the casing on, and we'll be back shortly. Right here, Dad. All right. <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah, it just need the bigger generator. So. Yeah, because the generator, the generator, what we got is only a small baby one. It doesn't run the whole coffee shop. Um, that's the problem. Oh, oh, oh! Ha! Enough! The fuck are these colders doing? Hey, big head! Fucking Aussie, mate! <laughs> oh, running your pants off, aren't ya? Ha ha ha.
Hey, welcome to Australia, cocksucker. <laughs> well, I'm in America anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> my character is an American. So, yeah, bit difficult. <laughs> Oh, come on, where's all the trucks? And boats, are they hiding from me now? Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't kill yourself, please. Wait, you... Ow! What the f... Really? No, God's not gonna piss on you, boy. <laughs> See, my dad really needed my help a lot. Uh, I'm doing everything for him, so yeah. Um. I'm gonna stay single till I'm ready because I'm not ready for a relationship yet. All the relationships I'm trying to get turns out wrong. Whoa! Take a boot, cock! <laughs> Four out of five, let's go! <laughs> Cockheads! <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, ooh. Ooh, where are you going, you shit? That was a cop. No, that was not a cottage truck. Cult truck, not cottage. What the hell I said cottage for? <laughs> good, four out of five on each one, so that's good. Right now, I need to go up the river, so... The fuck? Is that a good guy or a bad guy? Wait, he just disappeared! Wait, what? <laughs> oh! Shit! Okay, I say two. Oh, don't go in the friggin' water, you stupid shit. Oh, the tree caught it. That's good. That's ten. I need just four more. I need four more to complete this mission. It's rescue. Um, it's rescuing people from kidna uh, kidnappers, so that's good. Now, I need to go up the friggin' river. Why are I keep going down the river for? Ah. So, yeah, I'll be going, uh, I'll be working soon as an engineer, but at first, I need to help my family. I need to help my family big time. So, alright. That's normal. But, person so it's not a cultist. Cultist was pure black leather. What the fuck is this guy doing? Don't fucking fire at me, I'll fucking fire at you dick. Fuck you you cultist. Yeah, I call them triple K anyway. Freaking bad people of the West. Oh Whistling beaver. I didn't know beavers can whistle. <laughs> yeah, their whistle's been really weird. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love this game. This game is more fun than Core G. Oh, two colors with one board. That's not bad. Yeah, where's these cultist friggin' shipment boats and trucks? I wanna blow all of them out. I wanna eat you. 
Fuck you, you freaking made the person on fire, you stupid shit. That's the horrible thing I hate is when. Ah, oh, self suicidal. That's the horrible thing. Oh, pedestrian mother. Oh, uh, please stop, please stop, please stop. Please. Please, put your fucking hands up, you stupid shit. Fuck you. Fucking two bullets in the head. Uh, fuck you too, you cops. Bitch. What the? Hey, you're free. You're free. Jesus. I the Oh, this guy uh, died from a terrible death uh, with that kind of thing stabbed in his freaking hand. Ow. What the hell? I didn't know the triple K is that horrible. Far out. Alright, how many people I need to save now? Alright, I got one more truck and one more boat. And on here, uh, I need about three more people on the serve and protect. So, this is a pretty big mission. So, yeah, I've been helping my mum and dad for months now, so that's pretty good to me. Really? I got a friggin' bigger gun than you. Stop shooting me! You stupid shitheads. Really? Got a friggin' bigger gun than you. Stop shooting me! You Pockets. That's the last three people. Yes. Serve and protect. Done. That's not bad. Oh great. She's going to kidnap me again. <laughs> Bitch. Really? Here, have an animal to freaking chew on your balls. <laughs> the Wolverine goes, I am like no man's business, and he got his balls chewed off by it. <laughs> I'm going in. All right, ladies and gents, you watch that. Uh, you watch this and read the words. There's no sound coming to you guys, so you're fine. So let me do this thing for my dad, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Did you watch her dancing? Oh, far out. Oh, well. Right now. Let me skip this. Okay, I skipped that. Oh, I'm all blurry now. <laughs> okay, let's skip this. I'm sorry I took that long. I was putting the colors back onto the um, power cord, so it's all colored. So I done absolutely good for now. But yeah, the bliss. Fuck the bliss. I'll fucking kick out the ass. <laughs> Alright, let's finish these trucks off. Uh, I'm sorry it took that long because I was trying to get all the colors back on and oh, they are all fidgety and trying to kill it and stuff. Sorry I took that long. So right now let's finish these trucks off because we only got one left on both of them. We got the boats, so that's not bad. Oh, 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 oh. Supply truck. Fucking, where the fuck that one came from? Just there. Oh, my freaking God. I need to go oh, get it right now. Before it disappears. I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, 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 go. Where the hell did that thing came from? <laughs> yes, that's the last one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Finally caught him on time. Holy shit. Whew, okay. Now, um, Dutch says there's a boat thingamajiggy going on, so there's a boat watch. So where the hell is that? Oh, right over here. Ah! <laughs> I'll fuck them up anyway. Plus, if I see any bliss boats, That's a truck. I don't need another truck to blow up. Um, about the coffee van, I'm helping my parents uh, with it, so it's all good. So right now, let's find this cultist drug vehicles, and then, yeah. Yeah, I'm all puffed out. Yeah, rushing there, rushing back. But I got all the covers back on. No problemo. So, not that bad. So right now, try to find these drug boats and then blow them all up. Bingo! <laughs> the kids. That's done. Fox one, Fox two. Done. Why isn't he saying anything? 
I think I broke the game again. I hate that. I fucking hate breaking this game. This game's more fabulous than, than fucking Core G. Oh my fucking god, I broke it. Ah, not this shit again. Alright. Uh, fuck. 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 Okay. I need to... Um... Oh my freaking god, I have to find... I should have got the boat first. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I broke the game. So... No cheering, no fireworks. Yep, I, I definitely broke the game again. I fucking... <laughs> Yeah, I broke it. I broke it. He's not saying anything, so let's go back on the main manual and I'll see you guys in a split. Okay, let's start this again. Finally, I fixed it. Yay! Now I got fireworks. <laughs> what? Well, I think when I took down Dutch's mission, I think I blocked um, the jail wardsman talking. So no fireworks. So right now I got the only missions I got is um, prodigal, uh, pro uh, prodigal son. False Prophet and Friendly Skies. So that's the three main missions that is left on there. Uh, I got comic books and vinyl old music discs. So I need to find them. So that's in Holland Valley. And that is in Jacob's area white tail mountains so right now um yeah this is absolutely fucking weird now i'm going to do her mission because uh adelaide brumman she, yeah she's kind of cool kind of looking <laughs> Eh, yeah. um, the reason why I'm not talking to my friends right now is every time I talk, they don't listen, so, yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason. So right now, we've done the two main missions, what we need to do, and let's do Adelaide Drummond's mission and get her chopper back. Oh my freaking god, why are they pulling a freaking movie studio right there for? I don't fucking know. Crazy nutcase motherfuckers. <laughs> Just there. Bing bang boom. Uh, okay. Rip that goddamn Peggy's pick off and bring my sweet turn home. Okay, that's weird.
Alright, I need to get to the chopper before he takes off. Go on. Bitch. <laughs> Take these resters and son of the bitches down. Go it. Go yo. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so sorry I took that long of putting the co covers back on because sometimes they are fidgety trying to click clack back on so I did all them in one hit so not bad. So right now that is ooh, 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 ooh. got hit I got Right, yo. Um, let's get this chopper done and then do something else later today. I'm gonna fix my car for the afternoon, so, uh, well, on Saturday, I mean, not in the afternoon, what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna fix my car for Saturday, so, on Saturday, ripping the engine out, pulling it apart, cleaning it up, so. It's a, a lot of cleaning to do because all the grease and oil spills on it. Yeah, you know, well, it's built up to be a, a thick kind of gunk, kind of slime on it. It's not really good. Wait. Yeah, that's the... That's one of the shrines. I'm I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I need I need something to eat. I, I'm I'm starving. But yeah, I'm um, helping my dad is all I need to do is getting this uh, getting this workshop up and running. What is that squealing noise anyway? Is it a posty bike or the friggin' some? else, and it's not else anyway. Hehe, <laughs> shingles. Heverly Carlet. Okay, who wants fish Carlet? <laughs> Heavily armed. Talk to Adelaide. Where is she? She's way up. Holy shit, she's really fast. Slow slap what? <laughs> okay.
Alright, we got LA Drummond. First up. We only got Herc in Jacob's area. Then we got Sharky, then we got Peaches, but that will be next time, but right now it's actually a good thing. Oh my freaking god. Great, I'm gonna be in the fucking mist again, am, am I? Just taking off and the truck's bugging. <laughs> Girl, the truck is fucking but oh fuck that. Not this friggin' zombie fuck. There we go. Now, let me fix the truck first. There we go. Girl. You can drive the truck now. It's all fixed. It's all engineered. Come on, you can drive now. Jesus. Season all of that zombies. <laughs> okay. Best we can do is a generator out of out of Bunnings. Yeah, sixteen hundred bucks, brand new one. It's it's an eight kVA. That'll run your welder as well. All right. Um. When you want to get? Well, we're gonna order a special order. I can help. I can help out with that. Well, we'll, we'll all right, mate. See you shortly. Right, mama mia. Damn. She just went through the tree. She went through the fuck. Oh shit, okay, we got a bad guy on the way. Got him. Cooked him. <laughs> now we got a roasted Peggy right in the bo uh, docks of the Adelaide freaking airport. Oh shit. Oh, he got flung. Oh shit. Oh, his plane got docked. Shit. Okay, I feel sorry about this guy. Oh shit. Motherfucker. Bitch. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? If you aim at the plane, then the plane aims at me. Yeah, that's an old warbird right there. Holy shit! Oh well, that is the end of this, ladies and gents. That was actually freaking fun! <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the afternoon. Until then, if I'm doing something, I'll let you guys know. Till then, I'll see you guys later, anyway. Alright, ladies and gents, um, I got a solution. It's about 1 minute to 3 o'clock. And I'm putting my hobby in action because right now my dad's got no work and the coffee machine's not working. It's a false, it's a, a faulty kind of machine. And they gave us a freaking old freaking coffee workshop. It, my dad's upset. I needed to do something. So right now, I'm making my episodes of season one right now. Of Dawn Light, I'm gonna finish the series off and I'm gonna advertise it right now because right now, uh, my dad's in a stress kind of mode right now, so I need to help my dad as best as I can. Uh, what's on shit on TV? Not, not impressing. So, right now, I'm walking fast, I need to 
get this series up and running. So right now, um, yeah, I'm I'm in panic mode as well, but I am going to do something for my mum and dad. Is got to work my ass off here to get the dream home yeah, with my hobby. Now, series two, if I get my family a dream home right now, I have to work on my dream, uh, I have to work on the series two when I get my own house, so, yeah. Oh, finally, it's going really fast, that's good. That's what I need. Now, I'm just working on series one. And I know I'm in a stress point as well, but yeah, sunshine's coming out. So on Sunday to Tuesday next week will be all sunshine. It's Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday this week, and Monday and Tuesday this week coming up. So about the end of this week, Saturday and Sunday is the first two. Monday and Tuesday is next week and Wednesday I gotta get my new axles and new bearings so I can get my car up and run um, but yeah I gotta get my series up and run so I can actually get a little bit of work running so I can help my mum and dad around the whole situation of pr price rising is right now renting this house is ridiculous. Five fifty a week. Fuck. It, it's one of the stress moments where the real estate doesn't treat you fair, uh, fairly and stuff. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, this is gonna be absolutely freaking nuts, but. Yeah, I gotta get the series uh, series one um, advertised, and then so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, man, it's making my heart raise a bit. My heart's going fast. I need to slow down. So right now we got blue skies coming this way, and that's pretty good um, plus school's nearly over it just hit 3 o'clock 302 303 good so I'm gonna get my hands on the series right now and get it put on Facebook because I got no chance of um, Far out. So it's 50 bucks each series. Yeah, I gotta leave it on 50 one series and 50 to the other, and then 100 bucks on both. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to fix it up a bit, and then yeah, it's gonna be <sighs> okay. I need to calm down. My dad really doesn't like this house. He wants to be on the farm right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to help my mum and dad to get that property anyway. Get that dream home. Set the set renting. Yeah. Nah. Not for me. I, I'm in a panic mode. I don't like to be homeless. Alright, that episode's done. Episode 13's done. That's good. So I need to fix up these episodes and that's it. So right now, um, see ya. Um, I'll see you guys probably later in the afternoon, about 4, 4.30. I need to get the series advertised. Series 1. Series 2, I need to work on it.
and there's a whole lot of things I need to do and far out oh well so right now um so yeah I, I need to help my family a lot these days so I need to do that so yeah this is why I'm in a pain mode my little brother moved out of the house and I was I was in the caravan I was in the van back then and yeah my little brother decided to move out and stuff I didn't notice so yeah okay do I have an uh, do I need to have another coffee or not nah okay um I need to do something uh, because I need to help my mum and dad uh, a lot. So, right now, I'll see you guys later. Till then, I need to do this series to help my family a lot. So, I'll see you guys this afternoon. Alright, ladies and gents, I got some good news for you guys. Dolly number one's already done. And if you want a series, if you want a copy of the series, um, if you got a hard drive, um, message me on Instagram and I'll message you my address and you can send it over by mail and I can copy the whole series and send it back to you no problem at all and you guys can watch the series from the tutorial entertainment video that is on there that I made far out of back back in 2021 when I had no beard at all my, my beard was like really short to now so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys loved it. So, let's turn off these two beautiful boys. I gotta leave the heat mail because it's still freezing cold out there. Luckily, it stopped raining. Hopefully, it clears up tomorrow, and I can actually start on episode 4, taking the engine out of my car. Hopefully. So, I'll see you guys next time. Until then... Um, it's been a really busy day for me trying to make this series with confidence and really good happiness. So, yeah. So right now, um, please message on Instagram and type down Dragon Master 400 and you see a picture of black and gold Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Message me and I can send you to the series. But if you got a hard drive server, then I can give you the copy and no problem at all. So, no problems. So, the price of the series is not too high, not too low. It's about 50 for series 1. I'm still making series 2 and that's going to take me a long time to make. Um, series 1 of Dying Light, it took me two years to make, but finally I made it, but hopefully it goes really good. So, I'll see you guys next time, till then, um, that is all, I'm, I'm done for today. Tomorrow, I hope it's going to be sunny and blue outside, so I can actually start on episode 4 of fixing the Subaru and I hope it's gonna be great because I, I really miss driving my Subaru anyway it's actually my favorite car to drive and literally my my only car to drive so when it's finished built hopefully before the 23rd hopefully 
Uh, next week on Wednesday is the 12th. So I need to get this motor built, cleaned up. Well, pull apart, cleaned up, and rebuilt with new parts. And then put it back in the car. And after the new axles arrive, then I can test drive it to see everything's working and being positive and being all happy. So hopefully that's going to go really well. So I'll see you guys next time. Till then, it's been a really cold day. It has not reached up to the temperature of what it promised last night on the weather. It's now, what's the temperature now? It's just absolutely freezing outside. Uh, let me check the temperature for you guys. Uh, temp, there we go. It's 12 degrees, so it's going to drop temperature. Oh, bloody hell. It's going to drop to... Eight degrees. Huh. That's not bad. Well, it's still cold anyway, so I'll see you guys next time till then. I am bugged, but still feeling good, so I'll see you guys next time till then. Peace for now. Get over here.